praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. What another beautiful and awesome day today to always be in the presence of the Lord. Another day right now to give him all the thanks right now. Give him all the praise right now and give him all the glory. Today is the day that the Lord has made. And every last one of us, I mean every last one of us, should always be glad and always rejoice in it. Because we serve an awesome God. We serve an amazing God. We serve a powerful God. We serve a God who is the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. He still sits on the throne. He still performs miracles and wonders each and every day in the mighty name of Jesus. He is still in the healing business. He is still in the blessing business. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. And he is so worthy, my brother and sister. Yes, he is. Glory, hallelujah. He is so worthy to be praised. I don't know about you, my brother and sisters, but I cannot go out a day without thanking him, without praising him, without glorifying him, without seeking him, without pouring my heart out to him, without even without having a conversation with Jesus, because Jesus is our everything. He is our healer. He is our helper. He is our protector. And he is our provider. And if Jesus is not your everything, it is something absolutely wrong with you. And if Jesus is your everything, you should give him some thanks right now in the house. You should give him some praise right now today in the house. You should give him some glory right now today in the house. That's why I'm always encouraging my brothers and sisters that praise is an everyday thing. It's not an on and off switch thing. It's not a seasonal thing. It is an everyday thing. Because the God we serve, the God we praise, he watches over every last one of us, and he loves every last one of us. And if you have not welcomed the Lord into your home, to your life, or even your prayer closet room, please do so right now today. His arms are open wide. God is good all the time, and all the time God is good. Amen? Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, God, Abba, Father, we just come before you right now today in the mighty name of Jesus. Give me all thanks today. Give me all praise. Give me all glory. We just thank you, Heavenly Father, God, for everything that you've done and everything that you're doing right now. We thank you, Heavenly Father, God, how you're moving in our life. We thank you, Father, God, how you're ordering our steps. We thank you, Father, God, for your guidance and your direction. We thank you, Father, God, that we always can talk to you about every anything, Father, God, that you always make yourself available, Father, God. Oh, Heavenly Father, God, we just thank you, Father, God, because you make all things new each and every day. We we thank you, Father God, because no matter what we are going through, no matter what we're facing, Father God, that, that we're not going alone by ourselves. We're not doing it by ourselves, Father God, because you are right there with us, Father God. Oh, Heavenly Father God, you continue to have your way with us right now today, God. Oh, Father God, I'm asking you, Father God, to touch us right now today, Father God. Lift us up right now today, Father God, in spirit right now today, God. This whisper in our ear right now today, Father God. Oh, Heavenly Father God, we thank you for your grace and your mercy. We thank you, Father God, for your love, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for your patience, Father God. Oh, Heavenly Father God, we thank you for this word that we better receive, this powerful message right now today, Jesus, that's going to keep us full today, keep us satisfied today. And there's no other place, Father God, that we'd rather be at right now today, Jesus, but right here in your house, right here in your sanctuary, Father God, giving you all thanks, giving you all praise, giving you all glory. Oh, Heavenly Father God, we magnify your name today. We glorify your name today. We worship your name right now today. We exalt your holy name right now today, Father God, because you are everything. You are King of kings. You are Lord of lords, Father God. Oh, Heavenly Father God, let your will be done today, Father God. Let your words go out and she never turn back void today, Father God. Oh, Heavenly Father God, allow your love to move to this place. Allow your presence to move to this place. Allow your angels to join us in praise and worship, Father God, in this place right now today. Oh, Heavenly Father God, we know for a fact that you got our back, Father God. Oh, Heavenly Father God, this is your time. This is your moment. Glory, hallelujah. That I know for a fact that you about to show up. That I know for a fact that you about to show out. Oh, Heavenly Father God, I believe and I declare the decree right now today in the mighty name of Jesus that someone's going to be healed today. Someone's going to be delivered today. Someone is ready to give their life to you right now today, Jesus. And the angels are rejoicing in heaven right now. And you will and you shall get all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father God, this is your house, the house that you built on solid ground, the house that you built on solid foundation, the house that cannot be moved, shaken, or bothered. Heavenly Father, all but Father, you are welcome right now. You're invited right now today to enter to the house of the Lord, right here in your sanctuary, right here on your YouTube channel, right here on your platform, right here in my brother's home, right here in my brother's life, right here in my sister's home, right here in my sister's life. Heavenly Father God, I'm asking you right now today, Father God, for you to do a new thing in my brother and sister's life. I'm asking you right 
right now today, Father God, to lift their spirits up right now today, God. I'm asking you right now today, Heavenly Father God, for you to open their eyes so they can see whatever it is they need to see from you right now today, Father God. Open their ears so they can hear whatever it is, Father God, that they need to hear from you right now today. Oh, Heavenly Father God, I'm asking you, Father God, for a sign for my brothers and sisters. I'm asking you right now today, Father God, for you to send them an angel right now. I'm asking you right now today, Father God, to send them to the help what they need right now today, Father God. Oh, Heavenly Father God, it's not too hard. It's not too difficult for you, Father God. And I believe and I declare right now today, Father God, and I'm standing in the gap for my brothers and sisters that you are working right now today on their behalf right now today, that God, that you about to blow their mind. Hallelujah, it's already done. Holy Spirit. I um, welcome you right now today. You're invited right now today to enter to the house of the Lord right here in this sanctuary, right here on this YouTube channel, right here on this platform, right here in my sister's home, right here in my sister's life, right here in my brother's home, right here in my brother's life. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to intercede and intervene right now. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to comfort us right now today because you are a comforter. I'm asking you right now today to control our thoughts, control our minds so we hear your soft still voice right now. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to move through this place like you never moved before so we catch the Holy Ghost. Was fire right now today. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to touch every last one of my brothers and sisters right now today. As we repent of, as we repent of our sins today, Father God, please forgive us for our sin today. Known and unknown right now. Wash us through your blood right now. Clean us as white as snow. Heavenly Father God, I want to say thank you right now today for forgiving us for our sin. Thank you, Father God, for not remembering our sins anymore. Thank you, Father God, for the clean slate. Thank you, Father God, for the opportunity. Words cannot explain how thankful, how grateful, how honored, how blessed I am to always pray. Praise and have fellowship with all my brothers, all my sisters, they have one body in Christ. Heavenly Father God, I'm here today to let you know that I'm available for service. I'm available for the kingdom, but most of all, Jesus, that I'm available for you. Heavenly Father God, before I get started, it's something that's always in my mind about you. It's something that stays in my spirit about you. It's something that stays on the fruit of my tongue, the fruit of my lips about you. And I just got to tell you, I really feel about you, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough, 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 Jesus. I just can't thank you enough Jesus 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 I just can't thank you enough that's why I praise you the way I do because I can't thank you enough that's why I glorify you the way I do G because I can't thank you enough that's why I magnify and I shout out your holy name the way I do G because I can't thank you enough that's why I put my heart at you every day G because I can't thank you enough that's why I'm in love with you the way I Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I trust you the way I do, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. I just 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 can't thank you enough. Glory, hallelujah. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. And if you're ready for God's word, let the church say amen. Glory be to God. The Lord say, it's on its way. The Lord is telling somebody right now today that, that it is on this way. And he's reassuring you right now today, my sisters. He is reassuring you right now today, my brothers, that it won't be long. It won't be long. You can go ahead and start counting down the days right now. It's on this way. And it won't be long. Because whenever your past wants you back, my sisters. Whenever your past wants you back, my brothers, you already know that you are headed, glory, hallelujah, towards your future. The moment your past starts looking for you, your, your future is just around the corner. Whenever your past is emailing you, text messaging you, you know that your future is just a knock around the door. When your past won't want you back, Whenever your past wants you back, you know that you are headed in the right direction. And I don't know who God is talking to right now today. He is telling you right now today that you are headed in the right direction. You are right there so close to your blessing. You are so close to your breakthrough. You are so close to your miracle, my brothers and sisters. It ain't even funny right now. Because all of a sudden, your past just start looking for you. Your past starts searching for you, even though you forgot about your past. Your past was not even on your radar. Your past was not even on your spirit. Your past was not even your mind, but your past stays in your mind. And your past, when your past stays in their spirit, oh, Lord, 
you something to deal with. When your past always thinking about you, you know you are something amazing. But when your past come back, you tell your past, oh, I'll holler at you later because there's some, some places that I got to go. You can hang down there in the stowaway till I get back. Or you can sit back there on the easy block for a second because I'm headed somewhere. But when I get there, maybe I might come back and get you. But until then, you can sit right there because you was a past for a reason. It was a past for a person. But God has a future for me. And right now, my mindset, my spirit is focused on my future. It's not focused on my past at all. But for some odd reason, your past was focused on you. For some reason, your past was focused on you. Do you know why your past was focused on you? Because your past knew exactly who you was from the get-go. They know how you get down. They know how you rock. They know how your spirit is. They know God was doing something in your life. That's why they circle around the block and say, oh, no, this man right here, he has a future. This woman right here, they has a future. I'd be a fool to let that go. That's why your past came back to hunt you down. That's why your past came back to look you up. That's why your past was looking on in the yellow pages to find out where you was, even though you had changed your phone number. They made a way to come look for you. They made a way to come find you because it was all about you, my brothers and sisters. They knew that you had a future. Your past would never came back if there was no future in you or about you. You'd have been just like them, a past, or like a leaf that blows with the wind. But when your parents know that you have a future, oh Lord, your past always is going to come find you. Your past is always going to look for you. So you forgot about them, but one thing according to the word, they ain't never forgot about you. Even though they were running their mouth about you. Even though they were blaspheming your name. Even though they were doing all kind of dirty things behind your back and saying dirty things about your name. But your past never forgot about you because they say no matter what, I know he has a future. I know that she got a future and I'd be a fool to let my future go away. I don't care if I got a big like David referenced from the temptation, I'm going to beg him, I'm going to beg her because I know that they are headed somewhere. I know that they are going somewhere because they have a future. Are oh, you following what I'm saying right now? Everybody don't have a future like that. But when you got a future, oh my God, your past know all about it. It don't matter where they go to, where they skip to, they're always going to find a way to locate the future. Because you were the future the whole time you was with them. They knew it, but they allowed the enemy to come in and to sucker them out of the future. But the whole time, they were thinking about you the whole time. Regardless of who they was with, regardless of what they was doing, you still stayed on their mind because why? They knew that you was the future. They knew it. So that's when they when they came back, it was it wasn't it wasn't it was nothing it wasn't it wasn't nothing different. You just looked and said, you know what, past you came back. Okay, I need you to sit right there. Because God is leading me somewhere. God is taking me somewhere. And I will get back with you shortly. But until then, you can sit back down there in the storeway. You can sit back there and hang back with little Ricky. You can hang with Bettina. You can hang with little Bobby or whatever you want to hang with. But right now, I'm too focused on my future. Are you following what I'm saying right now? Let's turn that Bible to Isaiah 43. And we're going to read verse 18. And if you have your Bibles open, let the church say amen. Glory, hallelujah. It says, forget the former things. See, when you forget the former things about your past, your past did not even reconcile with you no more. See, when you forgot about him, you forgot about her, they were just a memory. 
That was never on your radar. That was never on your mind. That was never on your spirit. But the whole time, your past was always on their mind. Your past stayed on their radar. No matter what, because the word of God says, forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, you, my sister, you, my brother, you were not dwelling on the past, but your past was dwelling on you. I don't think you heard what I said. You was not dwelling on your past, but your past was dwelling on you. Because why? You was the future. That's why they was dwelling on you. That's why they found you. That's why they made a way to try to enter and come back in your life. Because they was dwelling on you the whole entire time when they was doing this and doing that. You was on their mind the whole entire time. Are you following what I'm saying? You know what God says? See, I am doing a new thing now. Now. I springs up. Do you not perceive it? Now the word of God said, don't you see that I'm doing something new? The word of God said, just hold on. He said, it's just around the corner. He said, you have to wait too much longer because I am doing something new right now. I am turning things around in your life right now. He said, but I'll just tell you right now what I'm doing right now. He said, you won't even believe me. But he said, don't worry, my brothers. Don't worry, my sisters. He said, it won't be long. It won't be long before it comes. It won't be long before it enters right there in your hands. It won't be long for God to start opening up the doors. It won't be long when God's going to put you at the right place at the right time. It won't be long when God's going to send rain down on your harvest. It won't be long when God's already got the table already set and prepared for you. It won't be long when your enemy got to sit there and watch you eat and watch you win. It won't be long when God give you the victory. It won't be long. It won't be long. And I don't know who I'm talking to today. I don't know who this word is for today. But we know God is talking to you. And you know for a fact that it won't be long. My brothers and sisters, your past came back for a reason. Because it won't be long. Amen. Amen. So I hope this word moved to somebody today. I hope it touched somebody's spirit today. And if it did, go and hit Jesus like button. Go and hit the subscribe button to us well. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you. You come into our life. To guide us, direct us, use us. And I believe right now today in the mighty name of Jesus. But I was praying a simple little prayer that God is already working everything God in our life right now today. And if you ever want to get in contact with me or leave me a comment, my YouTube channel is withers.alt. Always keep Jesus first place. Always seek him. Always honor him. Always keep your eyes focused on Jesus because he is the author and the perfecter of your faith. Always continue to hold on to his unchangeable hands and please do not let it go. Continue to pick up your crosses and follow Jesus. Choose faith over fear. Always continue to pray for your fellow brothers and sisters. It doesn't matter if you know me. It doesn't matter if you ever seen their face. Prayer help and prayer changes things. I'm always going to continue to keep y'all in prayer, my brothers and sisters. The only thing that I ask y'all guys to do for me is continue to keep me in prayer and keep me lifted up too. I'm serving minister LT. I love y'all. Stay blessed. In Jesus' glory, holy mighty name. It won't be long, my brothers and sisters. Amen.